Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you a tour of my closet and like kind of how I store and organize my small little wardrobe. Come on. So when Joel and I bought this house, something that really sold us in like the master bedroom area of our like little 1950s house is that there are his and hers closets. You don't always like find that in these houses and so I was very excited to have separate closets. When we first moved in together, we shared a closet and it was a terrible experience. <laughs> Mostly because I had way too much stuff at that point. It was insane. But this side is my side. So this is my closet. I store most of my clothes here and then also in a dresser in our bedroom. So in here, there are two shelves. When we first bought the place, all it had was just this single shelf and this single pole here. And so I did a little like customizing uh, randomly on my 30th birthday weekend. I like, it was like the project I really wanted to do. So I added an extra shelf way up tall for like kind of my deeper storage. Like uh, I have a jewelry box up there that <clears throat> has like important stuff and I love the jewelry box, but I don't use it that often. And then kind of like seasonal hats way, way, way up top. I also have a handy stool because like I said, <laughs> I'm very short and this is the only way I can get up here. And then on the second shelf up here are all of my bags. And I like to use my bigger bags and storing like my smaller ones inside. I feel like it helps to add like some shape to these so they don't kind of like mush over over time when I'm not using them for a while. So it's a nice like little space saving. You use smaller bags to put inside of your bigger bags. And I am a little OCD and like to do it color coordinated. <laughs> so then like this one up here has a black bag in it. I don't know, I don't know. it just makes me feel, feel better I guess. <laughs> All right, now on to this side. Over here is like my shoe shelf. Well, it is my shoe shelf, not in quotes, they're actually there. <laughs> but the top one I use for like my jewelry and my sunglasses and like perfumes and a lot of stuff that would like normally sit out on like people's vanities or dressers, but I just like to like not have so much clutter. I just like that. So I put in these shelves when I was doing that upper one and I have a couple of them here. I made like one that is bigger down at the bottom for my boots in the winter months. And I store pretty much all of my shoes here. I do store a few like seasonal items um, like under my bed or in a different closet when I'm not using them. So up top here I have my sunglasses. This is my sunglasses holder. Very exciting. I feel like I don't have very many. I used to be like a sunglasses junkie. <laughs> I think my closet's dusty. <laughs> and then I have the cutest little ring dish one of my friends gave me for my birthday. And if you can't really tell, but it's a cat and it's so cute. I just love it. Over here is my like necklace and bracelet stand. <laughs> I used to keep this on a dresser because I think it like looks cute and it's like adds like a sparkly element over there. But June every morning would sit and go like this and like dingle them all and like push them off to wake us up so we'd feed her. So I had to move it into here, which is fine. And then I store like my linen spray when I don't feel like washing my clothes and I just want to like refresh it a little bit, some perfumes. Another cool way to like, or I don't know, kind of create a way to make your closet kind of like smell nice without having like some weird thing in there is you can take, if you have velvet hangers, I'm a big velvet hanger person, I love love them and then the essential oil i like citrus i think it's very refreshing and you can just do like a little dot right on your little velvet hanger and then it smells so nice oh and then probably i mean i have a laundry hamper as most people do and then over here i have a vertical storage piece that i got from amazon 
This one is actually holding up super well. It has like a bamboo so uh, base, so it doesn't like sag when you fill it up with lots of sweaters <laughs> like I do. But I prefer to fold all my sweater sweaters. I don't like to put them in drawers. I like to have like a vertical storage because they're just so bulky. They take up drawer space so easily. And when they're stacked vertically, you can like see them all. You'll see that I like to like be able to see every piece in my wardrobe, like especially in my drawers. And then I store on the top one my like baseball caps. Not too exciting. All right, on to my actual dresser now. So like in this whole room, this is like our only other um, storage piece. Joel inside his closet, he actually has a peek, a peek of his in her closet. Anyways, he has like these really cool drawer things that he stores like most of his clothes in there. But I don't know those drawer things and I store most of my shoes in my closet where Joel stores his in like the front entry. Anyways, this is mostly mine. <laughs> So up top are my like intimate items like underwear bras, pajamas, and then socks and tights and then I have like a section of my like warm weather skiing outdoor stuff that I only need when I'm like layering up for really cool things outside. And I love to stack everything. So like my socks, I can see them all. It's it's like life changing. I read the tidying up book. What is that book called? Can you... <laughs> the life changing magic of tidying up. You just said it's life changing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, it, very true. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the life changing magic of tidying up. I read that book and I was like hooked. And then I googled how to fold my clothes like that. I think it's like the Kamori or Kamo something method. And you fold all of your stuff so they sit vertically, so the idea is that you can always see everything in your wardrobe. And I follow that principle. So then this drawer here is my um, jeans, and then right now I have my shorts, because it's spring, summertime. And then down here are like my PJs, and then my workout clothes. And then this bottom one, this is our like swimwear, kind of like random bits and bobs for summertime, I guess. So like Joel has all of his swimsuits here and I have some cover-ups in my swimsuits. And then this is the drawer that I don't fold like that. <laughs> this is all of my like random working around the house. Like they're covered in like paint and things. And I don't really care what this drawer looks like. Plus, our cat June is like obsessed with being in the dresser drawer. So I let her just have at this one. And it just gets crazy, so I don't even try to like fold them nicely. But yeah, these are all just like our working around the house clothes. So yeah, that's like my whole wardrobe. I do store, like I said, a few things under my bed. I have a few off seasonal things that would like normally be folded in, in one of my drawers or like in there. And then I have a few shoes that, I don't know, I need to like probably go through some of these and maybe get rid of some, but like things that you don't wear very often, <laughs> like your bowling shoes that I randomly stole from a bowling alley as a, in high school. Ooh, another tip, you can put um, dryer sheets like in the shoes and that kind of helps to be less tanky when you put them away. And then this one, this is just like wintery stuff and or shorts that I'm not wearing or like not part of my capsule that could possibly be donated or sold and then like bulky chunky sweaters and some jeans. And then for my clothes that are like the clothes that are hanging but aren't part of my like current wardrobe or capsule, I hang in like our extra bedroom office room, just kind of a little spot in there. So yeah, that's it. That's like my, my whole wardrobe. I hope this video was like is somewhat entertaining. I don't know, I'm a super nosy person, I feel like on the internet, and so I like to see these videos. But uh, yeah, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. I will see you guys in my next video, which will be the third video in this like summer capsule wardrobe series. If you haven't seen the one before this, which is my sister and I talking about what we learned from our first capsule, go take a look at that. 
and stay tuned for my reveal of my summer capsule up next. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!